Hello guys, today I want to present to you a new course, another new course on Laravel Daily. It's about inertia and Vue.js and Laravel. So for a while we had a gap in our courses. We had a lot of step-by-step -step so-called courses where we create a typical project, like a simple project with Laravel API or Vue.js client or React client or Filament or Flutter or others, but we didn't have specifically the course step-by-step -step with inertia. So we're filling the gap with this text base, quite a huge course with 24,000 words. It's a typical food ordering system, like you would have something like Uber Eats or whatever is your local in your country. So you choose the products, you view the basket. We didn't cover payments because that's a separate huge topic. So you place the order and then someone on the restaurant side, like staff, like managers, or someone from the kitchen could change the status of each order, like pending, ready, prepared, or canceled, something like that. So this is the course in 17 lessons, step-by-step, step, we create that project. And in this video, I want to, as usual, publish something for free from premium course. So I want to address those of you who haven't started or minimally started with Vue and Inertia in Laravel, and I want you to get familiar how it all works. So the starter kit for anyone who wants to start with Inertia, I would suggest Laravel Breeze. And in the first lesson of the course, we do exactly that. We install Breeze, but not just Compose or Require Breeze, but Breeze install Vue. So one of the subversions or options in Laravel Breeze is Vue.js. And it will not only install Vue.js and configure Inertia for you, but also will contain a few Vue.js components that would help you like with inputs, buttons, labels, and stuff like that. And you would not only be able to use those components, but also look at those components and create your own components. Like this doesn't contain select for dropdown, but during this course, we also create that component based on the ones from Breeze. So Breeze is a good starting point if you want to use inertia. And then jumping a few lessons ahead, I want to show you how we built restaurant index table because a few lessons are almost totally backend about DB schema and roles and permissions. And then we get to the restaurant table, which is a Vue.js component of list of restaurants. So to generate that, we generate the controller and in controller, the only difference between regular Laravel controller and inertia, instead of return view, you do return inertia render and return inertia response. And that admin restaurant index is a Vue.js component. That Vue.js component looks like this in resources.js pages admin restaurants index view. As every Vue.js component, it has script and template for HTML. Then you use some stuff from inertia, for example, like head with title, and then you have array of restaurants, which is automatically passed from the controller. So restaurants is the name of that variable. And then you do for each of the restaurants. In fact, it's V4 in Vue.js, but those restaurants is a variable that comes from Laravel controller. And this is what inertia does. You don't have to create any Vue.js routing or work specifically with passing variables to Vue.js. You build Laravel controller and Vue.js component. So we describe it in more details in that course, define props and V4. And then finally, we finalize that with the route. So that is a typical route, nothing about Vue.js or inertia. So you work with Laravel and with Vue.js components. And then in the next lesson that I wanted to show you as well is restaurant form to create a new restaurant, which is another Vue.js component. And let's quickly run through how it works. So another method in the same controller, create method. And again, inertia render with create Vue.js component. And we pass the cities for the dropdown values. Then in that Vue.js component, we actually use a lot of components from Laravel Breeze, as I mentioned, input label, text input, and input error. So we import a lot of them on top of create view. Then we define the cities that are passed again from the controller. And then we build the form. This is inertia use form. As you can see, it's imported use form from inertia view three. And then in the form itself, we have something like this. So form submit then we use those components like input label, text input, and others. Also there's input error if there are any validation errors, and then primary button to submit. 
we also use the model to bind the values to form dot something. So each field represents form dot field name. Also, it could be disabled if the form is processing. So after submit to prevent double submitting and then on submit, we post to the form route. And that route is a Laravel controller. So Laravel route of admin restaurant store, we pass all the data to that. And then on the back end, validation, form request, typical Laravel stuff. So validation rules and in the controller, store method with that form request. And then in transaction, in this case, we use transaction to create multiple operations. So we create a user for that restaurant with roles and restaurant for that user. So we create restaurant owner as a user and then the restaurant itself. So yeah, this is just a short kind of quick rundown overview how Laravel works with view and inertia. Of course, there are a lot more details in this course and I will link the full course in the description below, but I hope you get the main idea if you haven't used inertia yet. Inertia is kind of like a glue between Laravel and Vue.js, or it doesn't necessarily have to be Vue.js, it could be React or Svelte. And inertia takes care of kind of routing and passing the variables between those parts. What do you think about inertia? Are you using that? Or maybe you're a bigger fan of Livewire, especially with version three, which I actually reviewed on the channel pretty recently. Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.